You ever been lied to? I have. It hurts every time, doesn't it? In fourth grade, somebody put peppers on my sandwich, and it burned my tongue. I wasn't expecting them. It was a lie, much like this camera is. You have no idea the nightmarish hell that I went through to get this thing, and how much I regret it immediately, and maybe it will still destroy everything I own today. Let us find out. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we got a lot of interesting comparisons today. I want to see if this Blackmagic 4K destroys everything I own. It might. And the story of how this got into my life and how people should be sued. And man, the distress. But right now we're on the Blackmagic OG. Can you even beat it? 1080p only, two megapixels, Leica, 25mm 1.4. Let us switch to the Canon 24mm 1.4 with this adapter. Okay, now we're on the Canon EF 24mm 1.4 Mark I, the L lens. Of all times, am I in focus at all? So I just, this is basically the same lens as the Leica, 25mm 1.4 versus 24mm. Side by side, that's that's a guy. He's he's okay looking, but it's not a Canon lens, is it? No, it's not. Like a sure they're they're okay. Come on, Canon invented this game. You're silly. You're ridiculous. So Canon is the best, obviously. It feels like this lens is less sharp. Or I'm not in focus. I'm not in the focal plane. Uh, that's a bitch. So let's switch to the Leica 25mm with the Blackmagic 4K. And then we go into the story of how I got ripped off. And let's cry. What the hell was that? Okay, now we are on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, like a 25mm 1.4. I'm connected to an app. Side rant, you all lied to me. This thing autofocuses, apparently. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. You said... Oh, you can just monitor your black magic and then autofocus on yourself. You can't see the image. The image doesn't show up. So I have no way of seeing the shot. That's why I have a mirror and the HDMI is broken. We'll get to that. Oh, we'll get to it. The rage in my heart. But I could be appeased if I look better than black magic OG. I clearly do. With the Leica, come on. Same lens, like you're fugly, you're old. 1080p, come on, two megapixels. This guy over here, he's not sharp. Sure, you're more filmic. That's why I bought the original OG, because it was supposed to be slightly more filmic. I saw a couple comparisons, I was like, it does look a little nicer, a little more organic. But this one has slow-mo, it has all the 4K60 raw, oh my god, and the better screen. It's much more versatile, potentially. But, nightmares. First, let me just say, I have no idea if I'm exposed properly, if the white balance, I clicked update white balance with the gray card. It looks very green right now, but it's raw, so it can be tweaked. Let me just go through the story of how this beast of a crack shit came into my life. That should have been much closer to me. I suck at this. So I'm thinking I want this Blackmagic 4K for some reason. I just want something genuine, a filmic look. I'm sick of the color science. I'm sick of tweaking things. And things are just always digital and over sharpened. And I just, I want a little touch of nostalgia from our ancient ancestor past. So I was like, I want to try this thing. I've never tried it. It looks like it could be fun. I found a deal and this was before I really wanted it 
and it was a great deal. It was like a thousand dollars with everything you'd ever need. A cage, SSD. It was like, holy shit, that's a pretty good deal. That's the lowest I've ever seen. I don't think I really want it though. I regret not buying it. So once I saw that deal sold, I was on the hunt. And then I check Facebook Marketplace, which I usually don't check. And I saw one for 1200 Same thing with the Cage SSD and the 064 times speed booster to Canon EF lenses, where I could use all my amazing Canon L glass. So I messaged him immediately. It was $1,200. I was like, I'll buy it. Let's go. But he was so far away. I was like, can we meet somewhere in between? And he's like, I don't know, man. There's a guy interested in it. He's going to come tomorrow. I was like, I'll come today. I'll meet you right close. Pretty close. I can get quite close. He was like, I don't know, man. He's willing to pay more. I was like, oh, 1350 He's like, this guy lives close. I'm just going to go with him. Sorry about that. First come, first serve. It wasn't first come, first need. I needed it. Not him. What's he even doing with it right now? Filming his mom's plants in his backyard. Oh, that's so cinematic, bro. I thumbed down your movie on imbd.com. So anyway, I missed that deal. I see another one for this one. It's 1850 with all the cage, the SSD, and the Sigma 15 to... 18 to 35, 1.8 zoom. I've made fun of it many times in the past. Deservingly so. So I'm like, okay, talk him down a bit. I don't really want that lens. But then I thought, this guy's struggling to sell the lens. It's been up for two months. And I'm like, you know what? It could benefit us. I could review it, compare it to things. We make fun of Sigma. I'll make a future video on it. It's like, okay, I'll take it off your hands. piece of shit. I talk them down to 1550 because I really don't want this Sigma lens, but I'll take it off your hands. Everybody benefits. So I head there. It's about to snow like you wouldn't believe. A blizzard is coming, but if I can make it there before the blizzard hits, we might have something. So he's like, okay, I'm home now. Okay, I'm on my way. I get there. I'm in a rush. I'm panicking, the snow, the blizzard's about to hit us. And nothing of what he described in the ad was anything even close to what I actually got. So he was like, we got the cage, we got this magic rig cage, SSD, no problem, Sigma lands, all right. The cage has no screw, cannot be attached to the camera. So I have to buy some MacGyver shit, some screws in a hardware store just to get it on. There's no SSD compartment, so that'll be flopping off the side. The Sigma 18 to 35, no lens cap, no rear cap. There's an adapter that allows you to fit it, not a speed booster, just a cheap k &F concept that does not allow autofocus. No caps on those, no body cap. But at least there's batteries, right? No. There's one battery, no charger. None of this was in the ad. I'm panicking. I look at the sensor, I'm like, doesn't even look that clean. They're a little scuffy. Okay. I should have ran for my life, but I didn't for some reason. I was like, this guy's nice. I'll take it off your hands. We'll still have fun here. I can review it. Immediate buyer's remorse. He happened to live right by my mom. So I was like, I'm going to stop by my mom's. Why not? She's right in the neighborhood. I'll go see her. Hey, mom, how you doing? It's supposed to snow soon. Don't worry. It's not. It doesn't look like it's coming at all. It's a clear skies here. Let's talk for like an hour and a half. I hear a noise outside. Like the blizzard just all of a sudden hit snow everywhere. I'm like, holy shit. I rode my scooter here. I'm going to die on the way home. So I braved it. I tried to film it. I took my camera out. It was pouring snow. The streets, it was so slippery. I was like, this would make for some funny slow-mo. Couldn't even open my phone because it was wet. I made it. I lived. 
No footage of it, no proof. Oh, my clothes are wet. They're still wet. And now we have this. I plug it in to the HDMI. Doesn't work. It's like crackling. It almost worked for a little bit. It was like, and then now it's just like shutting on, off, on, off. I have no way to see the damn image. I'm so angry. But is the image worth it? Right now, we're looking at a Sony A7S III. That's an interesting choice. Zeiss 55mm 1.8. But I'm on a Leica and black magic and I'm raw. 12 bits of raw power. He's fugly Sony color science. You know what I realized? As soon as I got this, the HDMI didn't work. I realized I would lost. I had to do a mirror hack. I can't tell if I'm in focus at all. I'm using an app that won't show you. I was like, life was so much easier with the Sony. I prefer it. What am I doing? Why am I hunting for gear and always like reviewing things? I miss you, Sony, so much. So like, it probably is destroying the Sony just for skin tone pleasingness. Maybe not ultimate sharpness. Maybe it's even sharper anyway. Who knows? I love the low megapixel designed for video sensor here. Everything about this is a video camera. I don't even think it has a shutter, nor should it. Fantastic little beast. I figured either I would fall in love or I would sell it off. I can't sell this. It has a broken HDMI port. I have to mention that in the ad. No, oh, I'll give you a 300 for it. Yeah, thanks. So it's like I'm stuck with a brick, but I am technically using it right now. And it's working. And if I'm going out for like shots in nature, I would be behind the camera manually focusing and then boom. I don't know how long this distance goes. Let us test it. Did it do it? I don't know if this is working or not. It's really hard to judge the focus with a mirror. That doesn't look like it's in at all. That could be. When it comes to Canon color science, there he is. Is he better looking? I don't even know why I'm hunting for I think it's just I'm... I have no confidence in my face. I'm having a f bad face year. Not even a day. People have bad hair days. I'm having a bad face year. And I'm getting more and more acne. It's finally healing now that I eat nothing but meat. But it's slowly, very slowly taking place, isn't it? So it's like, I just want to look nicer. I have a health channel. I'm trying to promote this. You can heal yourself, bro. And I don't want to look like I am begging for cheese next to mice in a sewer. I had a dream there was a little sewer rat. Someone had a pet little rat squirrel thing that wasn't developed yet. And I was like, that's weird. And he was coming closer to me. I was like, I don't really want it to touch me. Unrelated to the video, but did I at least kill Canon Color Science? Full frame. Full frame with the Zeiss. 50 mil. 1.4. Dare we dream it. Probably stopped it down to 1.8 so it could be somewhat sharp. Why did I buy this? I'll tell you why. One, the slow motion could be nice. I've never seen it. It has 2.8K in 120 frames per second raw. That's what you're witnessing right now. And I'm not sure that you're even allowed to see this right now. You clearly snuck into a theater that should have cost you $40 at least. So that's some slow motion right there. How does that slow-mo compare, say, to the Canon? I have 180 frames per second. Boom, shellac. Not bad. So, like, is that sharper, more pleasing? Because Canon, like, it's a very different image. You get your 1080p, 180 frames, and it looks so much worse than your regular image. Whereas this, maybe it's not. Although it's cropped in quite a bit, isn't it? That's a bitch. That's a real bitch. Is it better than Sony's HD 240 frames? It's twice as slow, but you're not a cinematic look. 
Come on. It's not, not even close. Look at this magic you're witnessing here. This is black magic. It was a good purchase. Everybody loves black magic. How big are these files? I'm wondering. Pretty big, I imagine. Oh, is my SD card. I'm actually recording to an SD card right now. How cool is that? Huh? One of those Kingston cards. You don't, don't even need the SD. Why was that even part of my deal? Okay, last thing I'm curious about, what does Nikon look like? Because I was debating the black magic versus getting a full frame Nikon. Even a ZF, if I could find a super cheap deal on it, because that's not ideal at all. Or we're waiting for the Z6 III, or does Sony CVE-1 transort over to <laughs> transort? Come on, man. I want a Nikon ZVE-1, basically. Low megapixel, video-centric from Nikon. So, like, is that APS-C? I don't know. It could be better. It could be good. Nikon Color Science or Black Magic. So here's the deal. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to review the footage today, see what that looked like. Is the skin tone magic? Do I look 15 years younger or older somehow? Is it worth the image? I'm going to review a bunch of stuff. The Sigma, the Leica 200 wildlife on this 4K60 RAW with the 2.8K 120 frames or something like that. Let's see what that's like and if... I love the image and I'm in love. I will return this to the guy because the HDMI is broken and then I will continue to hunt for a better deal, one without all this extra stuff that doesn't work. No DaVinci Resolve license in there, nothing. How big are these files? I'm gonna leave. Did you prefer this image to all? You might have. I like those odds that you did. I'm going to leave, though. You buying stuff through the affiliate links? This is available to you. B&H used. Look at you. Picking that up? You're not? I'll leave. Subscribe for more videos. See